Hello everybody and thank you for joining us here on the Wrestle Dude YouTube channel as tonight Rich Swan takes on Kenny Omega in a champion versus champion match winner take all the AEW World Heavyweight Championship and the Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship are both on the line here tonight. History is about to be made here tonight. One man is walking out with both championships here tonight, and it could be this man right here, Rich Swan, who a lot of people in Impact Wrestling thought his in-ring career would be over nearly a year ago when Eric Young took him out, destroying his neck, destroying his leg. But then Rich Swan came back and he won the Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship. He is the champion of Impact Wrestling. However, very recently, another champion, this man, Kenny Omega, has made his presence known on Impact Wrestling alongside his buddy Don Callis. And it's crazy to think, Kenny Omega requested that he come out second here for this matchup because, as he put it, the true champions come out second. And wouldn't you know it? Who authorized that to be the case? His buddy Don Callis, who works here for Impact Wrestling. But there you see it, the referee picking up both championships. Both titles will be on the line. One man is walking out with a lot of hardware. If you guys are wondering where Don Callis is at, and therefore the good brothers, Doc Gallows, Luke Gallows, and Carl Anderson, They've actually been... Oh! Oh! Rich Swan Coming out of the gates with a huge clothesline! Kenny Omega tried to do the finger gun to Rich Swan. Swan ain't having it. As I was saying, Don Callis and the Good Brothers have actually been locked inside a closet to stop them from interfering in this matchup. Rumor has it they were lured in by a bottle of uh, Talking Shop whiskey, which uh, I, I don't doubt it. Those are, those are men that are very passionate about their product. I don't drink, but a lot of people that do say it's really good. What the heck is Rich Swan doing? Oh, Rich Swan leading in Kenny Omega with Hurricane Rana off the top rope. And in turn, Tony Khan and Willie Mack are actually some of the ones guarding that... Oh, that closet door, so Rich Swan doesn't have any allies in his corner for this matchup, although Rich Swan is a very confident wrestler, very competent as well, able to defeat those like, like freaking Eric Young to win that Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship. I'd say he can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with Kenny Omega any night of the week, but the question is, is that tonight? Is tonight the night that we crown a double champion of Rich Swan, holding both the Impact Wrestling and the AEW World Heavyweight Championship? Oh, Kenny Omega taking down Rich Swan with the Bulldog. Vintage Kenny Omega into the cover. Oh, two. Oh, kick out. And look at that, Kenny Omega. So smug. It's pretending like it's a shocker. That Rich Swan kicked out. Of course, Rich Swan is going to kick out that early in the matchup. It's only been going on for like three minutes. And yet, somehow, someway, he treats it as if it's some shocking revelation. And look at the power of Kenny Omega lifting up Rich Swan into a power bomb. And look at that. Rich Swan kicks out again, and Kenny Omega just. It's like a joke to him. Seeing Rich Swan fight back. Of course, Rich Swan is going to fight back. He's a fighting champion. Oh, and Kenny. Whizzed by his head with that knee strike, almost teasing him with a oh with a V trigger, and once again Kenny trying to do the finger gun, and Rich Swan fighting back against it with repeated shots to the head of Omega. Oh, and look at this, Omega rips versus out of it with a DDT. Oh, Rich Swan, he's had leg problems in the past, like we said, nearly had a career-ending injury with his leg. Rehabbed it like crazy to get back and win that Impact Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship. He would hate to lose it here tonight against Kenny Omega. Oh, Hurricane Rana out of nowhere, though. Kenny Omega taken down to the mat. Oh, Rich Swan misses with the rolling senton off the middle rope. Omega off the ropes again, looking for another V trigger. Rich Swan able to move out. And Swan looking for a half and half. Kenny Omega reverses out of that. Back and forth, these men go. And Omega landing some big chops on the chest of Rich Swan. And Kenny Omega tossing Swan to the outside. 
Bad intentions here. Ooh. Uh-oh. Omega looking for a power bomb. Oh, head to the apron! And Rich Swan is head. His head hit that, like, what would you call it? The middle, or the bottom turnbuckle, like, post? The, the part where it interlocks with the, the ring post? His head hit that. That is hard metal. And Omega now lifting Rich Swan up into a power bomb again, walking around ringside with him in Oh, a power bomb! A power bomb into the ringside barricade. That is going to give you one hell of a case of whiplash. And now Omega systematically destroying the spine and the neck of Rich Swan, launching him into the ring post off the fireman's carry. Yeah, it's smart, Kenny, but it's also... These moves can end Rich Swan's career. It's already been over once, a lot of people thought. It could be over again after tonight, depending on how much damage Rich Swan takes, whether Rich Swan comes out the winner of this matchup or the loser. Rich Swan could win tonight's matchup and have to vacate the championships tomorrow because he's not able to compete because Kenny Omega has done so much damage. And there you saw Kenny Omega deliver another knee strike to Rich Swan's head. Is it enough? Oh, oh, Kenny pulled up Rich Swan. He wants this match to continue. Kenny Omega calls himself the champion of pro wrestling, the best bout machine. And he's going to prove it here tonight. Oh, misses with another V trigger. Rich Swan really scouting those V triggers out. And look at this slamming Omega down, spinning him around, smart, keeping him away from the ropes. So if Rich Swan was to go for a cover there, Kenny Omega wouldn't be able to get a rope break. Oh, and now Rich Swan. That is smart. That is very smart on the part of Rich Swan. You think about it. What does Kenny Omega use for those V-triggers? His legs. What does Kenny Omega use to lift up his opponents for that one-winged angel? His legs. That is very smart on the part of Rich Swan to target the legs of Kenny Omega. Meets him with a kick in the corner. And Rich Swan, cartwheel, moonsault. And now into the cover on Omega, who kicks out at one. Ooh. And now eating that kick. Oh, and a big slap to the face of Rich Swan. Oh, and meets him chop for chop. Shot to the gut. Shout out to Brody Lee. RIP with the discus clothesline. And Omega just kipped up from it and meets Rich Swan with a chop. And Kenny off the ropes. Oh, V trigger cut. Rich Swan in the gut. But Swan rolled out of the ring. He kind of fell through the ropes. Now, once again on the outside here, Rich Swan is in a heap of trouble. What's Omega looking for here? Uh oh. He was eyeing the steel steps. Rich Swan fighting out of the powerbomb that Kenny Omega was eyeing the steel steps for. Once again, discus clothesline on the outside. And Rich Swan, he's, done, he's got a lot of pain done on his back. Omega did a lot of pain. Oh. What was that? I think Rich Swan was trying to go for a like a dive off the apron. Normally he does like a 450 splash off the apron. I think it has been the damage done to his back. Rich Swan wasn't able to like get the momentum he needed for that 450 splash because of the back, all the pain. Think about it. This guy got power bomb not once but twice. Once into the apron and then the other into the ringside barricade and then tossed into the ring post. That's a lot of pain. And there you see it. Rich Swan. Normally does like a suicide dive to the outside, but because of the pain on his back, he had to change his game plan and instead hit that baseball slide Hurricane Rana. Minimal damage done to Rich Swan's back. A lot of damage done to Kenny Omega's as it went speeding into the mat. Oh, but there's the problem. That's the problem you have. You have to now get Kenny Omega back inside the ring. You have to lift Kenny Omega up and get him back in the ring. But Omega able to battle back. Now Kenny is the one putting Rich Swan in the ring. Oh, and there you see Kenny Omega targeting the back of Rich Swan. Oh, taking him over the leg. And now repeated knee strikes to Rich Swan. Oh, follows it up with the BTE trigger. That's a move that the Young Bucks use a lot in their matches. Rich Swan retreating to the outside, very smart, but Kenny Omega follows him out with a massive moonsault. 
We know Kenny Omega and the Bucks have had uh, an interesting history in AEW and a lot of history throughout their entire careers. But here tonight, Kenny Omega giving them and paying them homage with that BTE trigger. Also to his uh, former Gordon lover, Kota Ibushi, back in New Japan. But Rich Swan, oh, oh, big kick to the face. And Omega's down again. Swan finding his opening. And here we go, charge up 450 splash in the, in the center of the ring. And Rich Swan finally got off the 450, but is it enough to win both championships? No, it's not. Omega fights out of the charged up 450 splash. And if you're Rich Swan, you gotta go for the Hail Mary at this point. You gotta go for that Phoenix splash. Ooh. Omega shutting down Rich Swan's momentum with that V-trigger, and again, Rich Swan rolling to the outside. Very smart by Rich Swan. Keeping away from a potential pinfall attempt. But Omega follows him out and delivers another V trigger. Omega tossing Rich Swan back inside the ring again. Oh, and Rich Swan kicking back up to his feet. Oh! Look for the kick, that spinning kick. That move won Rich Swan the WWE Cruiserweight Championship. Back on 205 Live. But it did not put away Kenny Omega here tonight. But it, it nearly, that move nearly put away Rich Swan. Nearly a three count there. Uh-oh. Kenny looks like he could be looking to put it away. Maybe looking for the one-winged angel. The move that won on the AEW World Heavyweight Championship. A move that nobody, nobody in AEW has ever kicked out of. Obviously, Kota Ibushi kicked out of it in New Japan, but Rich Swan forearm smash off the middle rope, and Omega's busted open. You saw the flash of red. Big jumping elbow by Rich Swan. You gotta wonder how much damage has been done to the back of Swan. Swan off the middle rope. Look at the middle rope Phoenix splash. Did not get it. Kenny Omega. Uh oh. Uh oh. Double under hook. Oh, drilling Rich Swan on the head. And this could be it. This could be a three count. No, it's not. I am shocked after all the punishment Rich Swan has taken in this matchup. And then that? People, people got to realize that is a very hard part of the ring. That is the same part of the ring where John Cena broke his neck via a powerbomb from Batista at SummerSlam. That is a very hard part of the ring, and Rich Swan just got drilled head first into it and somehow was able to kick out. Although that ripcord V trigger I thought was going to be enough to put away Rich Swan, but yet again, the Impact World Champion able to kick out. Now Omega loading up in the corner for another V trigger. Oh, Rich Swan had it well scouted. Oh, shot to the gut. A third time, a discus clothesline. And. Kenny Omega, this time rolling to the outside. Rich Swan gonna go up top. And Swan looking to dive to the outside. Omega moved out of the way. Omega moved out of the way. Rich Swan crashed and burned. It looked like he was trying to go for a Hurricane Rana again. And now Kenny Omega tossing the lifeless body of Rich Swan back in the ring. Poised in the corner, V trigger, and I believe that busted open the Impact World Champion. I might have broken the nose. Cover. Do we have a new double champion yet? No, we do not. Rich Swan stays alive. Kenny Omega is in disbelief, and I believe this time he is not joking. Kenny getting pissed off now. Looking for the one-winged angel. Rich Swan able to battle out again. Oh, German suplex attempt. Kenny Omega, great counter. Omega off the ropes. Oh, oh, gets dropped on the top rope with a stun gun. Rich Swan. Rich Swan going up top for that Phoenix Splash. Kenny Omega got the knees up though. And Omega, you know he's seen that Phoenix Splash a lot. Not only has he done it himself, but his former golden lover, Cody Ibushi, has used it in New Japan. And Kenny Omega drilling Rich Swan into the mat. Now cover again on the world champion. Now Rich Swan able to kick out yet again. I still, I am still shocked after the early goings. Those double power bombs, one into the ring apron and the other into the barricade. Uh-oh, Kenny. Kenny. Oh, 
I don't know what Kenny was going for there. I think he was thinking about going for his own Phoenix Splash, but then changed his mind. Rich Swan got back up to his feet. Oh, Tiger Suplex by Kenny Omega. You know Kenny Omega loves his Tiger Suplexes. And he just hit one on Rich Swan. Make that two Tiger Suplexes. And this is where Kenny Omega starts to get more and more vicious. Look at this. Kenny Omega going up top. He is gassed. Those Tiger Suplexes taking a lot out of him. Oh, look for the double foot stomp. Kenny landed on his feet. The feet that Rich Swan sort of targeted earlier. And speaking of feet, Rich Swan just put a foot to Kenny's face with that spinning kick. The same move that won him the Cruiserweight Championship at WWE. It could make him a double champion here tonight. He's got to drag Kenny back towards the center of the ring. He's got to make sure he's far away from the ropes. This is the easiest he can win the championship referee's in position. Cover one, two, no! Omega kicks out at 2.99. Rich Swan is in complete disbelief, as am I. I thought that you saw the way Rich Swan's foot hit Kenny Omega's jaw. That looked brutal. Oh, and Rich Swan. Could have been going up for another Phoenix Splash. Rich Swan was trying to get his position right. Kenny Omega popped up and hit a back suplex. Rich Swan trying to get back to his feet. Feet trigger. And Rich Swan tried to roll out of the ring again. Kenny Omega stopped it though. Another V trigger. Kenny Omega is going irate with these V triggers now. Super kick on the jaw of Rich Swan. Yakuza kick. Jeez Louise, he's just dragging him back up to his feet. And look at this, tossed over the knee again. Repeated knee strikes to the head, opening up that wound in the head. BTE trigger. Kenny Omega is going ballistic with these knee strikes. And now he's poised in the corner again. You know it's coming. V trigger. This could be the last stand of Rich Swan. Omega dragging him to his feet, spinning him around. Which Swan is dazed, confused, doesn't know who he is. Omega has him up. One winged angel. And look at the instant replay. Rich Swan, all the damage done to his back. And you know Kenny Omega is just on the verge of winning both championships here. Omega into the cover, a delayed pin. Wait, what the heck? Which Swan didn't kick out. Kenny just let Rich Swan out of the, the one wing angel. What in the world is Kenny doing? And there is a smirk forming on the face of the AEW World Heavyweight Champion. Oh no. Kenny Omega finally got the finger guns off. He says, I'm not just gonna put you away with one. I want you I wanna put you away with two one winged angels. Yep, and you knew it. No one has kicked out of the one-winged angel in years. And here tonight, two one-winged angels leads Kenny Omega to becoming a double champion. Kenny Omega, for the first time ever in his career, has become the Impact World Champion. He is a double champion. And here tonight, history has been made. The very fabric of professional wrestling has changed thanks to not only Don Callis, but Kenny Omega.